just just give us a thought on on being the winner. What's it mean to I'm you? I'm thrilled. I mean, I'm I'm really really thrilled. I didn't see it coming. I've had a uh, very very mediocre year, mediocre to poor year, and only recently have I started to hit the ball a little better. So I really didn't see this coming. But uh, uh, yesterday, the first day, I I. Uh, I don't know, I got to the range and all of a sudden I was hitting every ball solid and just gave me the confidence to come out and shoot a decent round yesterday. Um, missed some putts. Kind of that's, that's a little bit the theme is um, uh, missing putts. But I'm thrilled. I mean, it's a, it's a tricky, tricky golf course. Uh, length isn't necessarily the issue, although there's a lot of long holes, long par threes, long par fours. Uh, very tricky hole, I think, as a uh, course as the scores show. Uh, they're not the normal scores we get, um, but they did a good job. Uh, uh, Gap has always did a great job. The superintendent here, I think, did as best he could with the conditions. And there's a lot of good players. I, mean, I was really thrilled to uh, to win this. Re really thrilled. What was your? Uh, you were right there after yesterday's round, a couple shots back. What was your mindset coming into today? Uh, to be honest, I thought I would need to shoot even par. That was my mindset. It's not like I went after a number at all. I just wanted to, it sounds like a cliche, I really w played one shot at a time and um, missed some shots but played, played pretty well and putted very well, but, but that was my mindset. It was just, to, you know, I wasn't going to go try and shoot a number. I just assumed that uh, somebody would go low and you'd need something like five over, maybe four or five over to win the whole thing. Do you have any idea where you were out there? I thought I blew it starting on eight. And so I, at the first I thought I know I was playing well and I know I was scoring well, so I thought, well, i got to be pretty much right there. And then um, in an eight I missed, well, I, I may have mentioned to you before, all of a sudden my putting something happened in my putting stroke and I started pulling everything. I pulled five missed five putts in a row, pulling them left of the hole. Uh, I missed a four-foot birdie putt on eight. I missed a four-foot par putt on nine. I three-putted from eight feet on ten. Um, I missed a uh, seven-foot birdie, six-foot or seven-foot birdie putt on eleven. And, you know, I, it, I, then I thought, well, I've, I've totally I've totally blown it. I mean, at first, I th before that, I thought, well, I'm in very good shape here. So I didn't know until, to be honest with you, I really didn't know. I, I was surprised when I came to 18 after I bogeyed 17. I was surprised that they're saying still wait around for playoff. I didn't think that was, was possible because I didn't know what the scores were. So you did it on 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12? 8, 9, 10, 11. No, I missed two putts. That's why I three-putted from 8 feet. On ten, okay, because I missed. Oh, I yanked yeah, two of them, <laughs> okay. I, including like a twenty-inch putt to, you know, For so five putts in a row. Okay, where I had been putting great. So I don't know. That's when I thought I blew it. But before the the eighteen and seventeen bogeys, you you seemed to settle down there, yeah. and, and you parred sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. We saw you par uh, thirteen, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I did settle down. Settle I got down. into it, and I was just trying to get the ball in the hole. Um, I wasn't really. I, mean, I had some. I hit some very good shots, and I hit some very mediocre shots. But I was just trying to. I chipped pretty well today. I will say that my short game was pretty good, um, including the shot I hit on uh, 15 was really a good shot. I, I had pulled my tee ball on 15. I was in that construction area. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I got a drop, but the, the point of nearest relief was on hard pan. And I had 40 yards to get to the pin. And I, I took my lob wedge and hit it to four feet and missed the putt. <laughs> missed the birdie putt. So that's why I say I look back at this and I'm like, mostly I think of putts that I missed. And then three putting on 18. I mean, that's mostly what I think of. But I, I did kind of settle down. Yeah, I, I started, uh, I settled down, started making, finding a way to make par. You, you've, you won the art wall, like you said. I did. Um, Gap-wise, you came close. You, you runner-up in the Brewer Cup a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. 
Um, what does it mean to you to win a GAP event? Uh, it really means a lot. Um, Delaware Valley is a great place for golf, great competitors. You come out here and you know it, you're going to have to fight tooth and nail for everything. Nobody gives you anything. And to win the senior championship, quite honestly, is, uh, is, is, is really good. It, it's, you know, before I use the word thrill, but I'm very proud to do it. January, I'm turning 70, um, and I feel great, you know, and, and so to be able to hang in there and win this now, I feel really good about it. Uh, I, and, I, and you know what, I think about all the names of guys that have won, you know, I think of, uh, I, don't, I don't want to put, I don't want to actually give a name because I don't want to make it sound like I'm putting myself in that class, but there's so many good players here in the Delaware Valley that have won this in the past. To kind of join them as a champion of this event, this, the end of the season event, I feel great. I really do.